Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry. I am too often reminded of the movie, The Matrix, when Neo is finally unplugged from The Matrix and he opens his eyes and says, why do my eyes hurt? Morpheus says to him, because you're using them for the first time. People are beginning to see what others have always seen and it hurts because you're seeing what others have been seeing for the first time. And I'm hearing these conversations that say things like, mm, calling out racism is worse than racism itself. One thing I know for certain and two, I know for sure, history repeats itself. And if you don't learn the lesson, it keeps repeating itself over and over and over again. So what should we do? <laughs> A couple of months ago, maybe a month ago, who knows? <laughs> there was a tornado in this area and it was a pretty bad tornado. The neighbor texted and said that they could see it coming across the marsh. So my daughter and I ran to our closet and hunkered down. We got the dogs in, everybody was settled in, but the closet was had boxes and we were kind of uncomfortable, but we laughed and we joked and we began to plan for the future. We first got out of harm's way. Second thing we did was notify people and let them know where we were and that we were okay. Third thing we did was laugh because we had to feed our soul and take care of it. And the fourth thing we did was plan for the future. We started designing a house and creating and deciding what we were gonna do and have. That's where the hope came in. When we came out, our next neighbors were texting each other and said it was heading right our way. And at the last minute it turned. They laughed and said, it's because Bertice and her daughter and niece are in there making all those masks and they protected the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Maybe. The next week, the same thing happened again. And guess what? The night before, we got a warning. We did the, the one before that, too. But we were like, yeah, you know, they send these warnings all the time and we didn't pay attention. But this time when the warning came, we did. So when we went in that closet, the house was already cool enough because we turned the air down so that it would cool off for the duration of time we would be without power because the week before we were out pow without power the whole day. We charged up all of our devices. And when I opened the door to that closet, my daughter was like, looks like a spa in here. I had body pillows and snacks and beverages, loads of water. We had what we needed. The dogs were settled and comfortable. I feel like we keep going through the same things without preparation. That we know COVID hasn't gone away. We know that it's there's going to be a resurgence. We know it's probably coming sooner than we anticipated and we're not preparing for it. We know <laughs> that we've been living under a syst systemic racism for 400 years. We know this, we know this. We can call it whatever we want. We can say, it's not me. We can say, I don't feel that way. But if the society is that way, then we've all been affected. We know this. We're not preparing for change. We're not preparing for what we need to do. We're standing around saying, not me, not this time. It's gonna be fine. It's not, it didn't happen to me before. It won't happen to me again. All of these things, climate change, a pandemic, Racism, we are not paying attention. We're not listening to the ancestors. We're not talking to God. We're not loving our neighbors as ourselves. We're not saying, what do you know and what do I know? And let's put it together and change this thing. If I make it to the end of this year, I'll be 60. And in these times, these years that I've lived this life, I've seen some things and gone through some things. If my mother were alive, she'd be like 102. She taught me some things. Her grandparents taught her some things. Reach in and use what they learn and what they know and apply it to all of this today. It's time for change. And it's up to us to bring it about. What are you doing to prepare for the change? I love you.